Hello, my dear friends. Single and Unique Platform team welcomes you on our YouTube channel that is Single and Unique Platform. Please do share and subscribe our YouTube channel for more education related videos. In the series of Geography Lectures, today we will discuss about Asteroids, Comets, Meteors and Moon. So first of all, let's take our first topic that is Asteroid. International Asteroid Day is celebrated on 30th June every year to educate the people about Asteroids. Asteroids are the minor planets, especially those of inner solar system. Majority of asteroids orbit in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. There are three major types of asteroids that is C-type which are rich in carbon, M-type which are rich in metals, S-type which are rich in silicate. Next is Asteroid visible to naked eyes is 4 Vesta and it, it is visible to our naked eyes all because it has a reflective surface. Next we will discuss about comets. Comets in Hindi are known as Dhumketu. It is an icy small solar system body when passing close to the sun it warms and begins to release gases which is known as outgassing due to which head and tail is formed and it is only visible when it travels close to the sun. Brightest part of the comet is head corona. Next, let's discuss about some of the comets. First one is Halley Comet. Halley Comet, it reappears in after every 76 years. First time it was last it was seen in the year 1986. So after 76 years it will be seen next in the year 2062 that is 2062. Next we will discuss about another comet that is comet Shoemaker Levy and it is the comet which, which broke apart in the year 1992. It collided with the Jupiter bit on in July 1994. It provided an opportunity for our scientists to observe the changes because of collision very closely. And you can see in the picture, I have encircled the part where it has collided with the Jupiter. And this was the comet Shoemaker Levy 9. Next, we will discuss about meteors. Meteors are also known as shooting stars. These are formed due to collision of asteroids with one another. These occurs in the mesosphere which ranges between 76 to 100 kilometers. Next, the largest meteor Hoba West which strike the earth in the prehistoric times is weighs near about more than 60 tons and it is in it landed in Namibia in prehistoric times. Next we will discuss about moon. As you know moon is the only satellite of our earth. Only 59% of moon surface is directly visible from the earth. Rotation is equals to revolution of moon. That is, it takes 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes and 11.4 seconds to complete, complete its one revolution or rotation. Moonlight takes around 1.3 sec seconds to reach Earth. The circumference of the moon is 11,000 kilometers. The distance of the moon from the Earth is 384,000 402 kilometers. Next is first man to set foot on the moon was Neil Armstrong and the second person was Edwin Aldrin in the year 1969 in the spacecraft that is Apollo 11. Le the landing spot was called as the Sea of Tranquility. Tranquility as you know the Sea of 
piece you can say next is we will discuss about the eclipses eclipse is first you can see when the moon comes between earth and sun and the shadow of the moon is fall, falls on earth that causes solar eclipse another one is lunar eclipse in which the earth comes between the sun and the moon in this the shadow of the earth falls on moon and moon is not visible and you can call this moon as the new moon also next we will discuss the phases of moon new moon moon is when the moon is between earth and sun so part of it facing us is in complete darkness next is full moon full moon occurs on the 14th day after new moon and this time moon surface facing earth is fully illuminated and other phases of the moons are known as crescent next we will discuss about the perigee and the apogee perigee is the nearest distance of moon from the earth apogee is the farthest distance of the moon from earth this we have learn in the another lecture that is about the perihelion and aphelion perihelion as you know was the nearest distance of the sun from the earth aphelion was the farthest distance of the sun from the earth you can take from those that p perigee means pass that is near the distance between moon and earth when the least is known as perigee and when the distance is maximum that is a away apogee that is apogee farthest distance maximum distance is known as apogee that's all in this in these lectures thanks for watching it please do share and subscribe